saw that one that's really dangerous. Yeah. Obviously, with the hands on such a losing streak, and you guys obviously are going to try hard over here. How did you see that one? Well, we, we were on a losing streak ourselves. Uh, you know, I, 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 one of the things that I can say about our group is that we, I don't think we ever got discouraged. I don't think we ever got down and thought and had no belief that we weren't, we didn't have a chance to win ball games. I mean, every all the last five games. I mean, besides our Sydney game, in Sydney, we 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 just didn't play good, play to our our standard. And the rest of the games, we were right there to win. You know, and I think that. One of the things I kept talking about, kept talking about, was just making plays when we need to. And today, I can't even talk about, you know, Weeksy, Shay, Sean, uh, Tommy, Finn, Ty, uh, the whole team. I can go through the whole team where guys made plays, and you know, we we, we struggled in a little bit in the third, and then we came back in the fourth and had a great fourth quarter. Yeah. <clears throat> Yeah, I just said, look, we've been here before, you know, except, except the best thing is we're not down 15 like we were against Sydney last week. We were down three. And, you know, one of the things that I'll, I put on the board before the game was just stay positive and stay focused. I mean, you know, these guys have been working their butts off, you know, for months now. And we don't always end up coming out on, on, on the winning at winning side. But, you know, it's, it, it, we, we're right there. We're right there. And, and, you know, I know with this team, the fight that they have, that they showed tonight, like we'll be right there in the end. This league, since I've been playing in the league, I mean, my first year down here, I, I played in Cairns. Our last game, if I remember or not, uh, we were right there. We went six and I think six and one in our last seven games, and the, the, the Breakers had lost nine in a row before I got here. And we had a chance to make the playoffs. Then, if Gold Coast would have lost, we'd have snuck into the playoffs. But we didn't make it that year. Then the year that we did win the first championship, it was such a race at the end between the last four teams to get in the, get in that fourth spot. Like it's like that every year, and I think it's more competitive this year. I mean, Melbourne has five losses. Uh, besides Perth and Sydney right now, but most of us are between the five and eight, you know. And that, and that's where I feel like like one game, a loss or a win, sometimes people can take it the wrong way. It's like you know, you lose a couple. Everyone thinks that the season's over. You know, you win a couple, you think that you're going to make the playoffs, and it doesn't work that way. I mean, this season will come down to the last three weeks. I can guarantee you. Well, that, you, you know, the way you executed in that final quarter, you know, it's pretty perfect basketball from a from a coaching point of view. You sort of took away the momentum, a three point deficit turned into you know pretty. Well, it wasn't comfortable. You had to work for it, but then it became comfortable. You know, you sort of executed everything. Offense was great. You know, you were really good in transition. I just think that that on a lot of times, if, if shots aren't falling for us, we kind of get discouraged, and then our defense doesn't stay to the standard that we want it to be at. Today, when the shots weren't falling in the third quarter, it, it, it never looked like we were breaking down too much defensively. Uh, we gave up a couple offensive boards. We put them on a the free throw line a little bit too much in the last two, three minutes of the third quarter. If we didn't do that. I mean, we probably would have had the lead in the end of the third quarter, but the fourth quarter, all of that stuff stopped, you know, and we didn't put them on the line as much, and we didn't give them too many second chance opportunities. Like, we started to turn that from our defensive momentum now until our, our offense started to start, start to click, you know, and that's all it was. <coughs> Yeah, it's good just for the whole team. Like I said, we're on that losing streak, so good to break that. Um, obviously, for me personally, it was good to, I guess, break it here against the old team. Um, but yeah, like you said, the crowd, you know, really gets behind this club. And, you know, at the end of the third quarter, it's really deafening to be on the other, other side of it. Um, and um, I think that's just great. And, you know, what this club is built around is their fans, and they're going to stay with this team no matter what. So, um, yeah, they're just a big part of this club. Well, like KB said, um, it's such a tight league that, you know, they're, they're not getting blown out by 50 every week. You know, they're in pretty much most of their games that they've been in um, with the top teams, including Perth and Melbourne and Sydney. So, like KB, it's just one of those leagues. And, you know, 
if, if they get up to that last stretch and they can just break wins, it's, it's going to fall for them. So they're a talented squad and if they can get things going together, I think they, they can really end this season well. He's been great. You know, even one of the funny things is that um, even when he wasn't shooting the ball as well, and, you know, I think myself, Juddy, Judd, Judd coached him himself, and so Judd would have been speaking to him the whole time about, you know, just being happy, having that aggressive mindset. And, you know, from the time I spoke to him on the phone to get him over to New Zealand, like it was always about his aggression. I love from when I watched him in Illawarra all the way to Cairns to, you know, and, and last year he was a starter for most of the season up here in Cairns. And he could be a starter right now, to be honest. You know, it, it's he's accepted the role but I think in the last three weeks he's shown or last three games he's shown really how high he can take it and and that's what we need from him all the time you know and and I think actually he's been challenging so many other other guys like you know he goes out there and he does the job on Trimble and DJ you know and that's where like I, I think his growth you know in the last I've seen a couple of years in the last couple of years has basically transferred to help us you know get to where we're at right now I mean you know we still got a long way to go and you know, I take nothing, and I want, I want, to, want to make sure I say this because I, 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 I can only imagine how Mike feels because we just came on a five-game losing streak ourselves, and, and it's not easy, you know, but that team is a really good team, you know, and, and the wins may not be there, just like for us, you know. It may, people would have probably knocking us off saying, you know, we're not, uh, not going to make the top four and all these things, but like Weeksy said, I mean, it's a hell of a team there, and they got great play from inside. They got good, really good guards, like – I just feel like they're in the same boat we're in. One win, and that whole season can take around, turn around. You know, and that, that's how I feel. That's what I kept saying to these guys. Look, we just need one win to shake that, that cloud that's over us right now. You know, we're in every ball game, and just like these guys are, they're in every ball game. I think we may have count, probably can count two games where they just didn't have a chance, and that was probably one in New Zealand, and I think there was another one probably up here with Illawar. Uh, Perth, yeah, in Perth last week. But the rest of them, they're in every single ball game. And once they get that cloud off, this team's going to go like this. Just back to Jared on the confidence from the coach. Did you mean how much you've played the way you've played the last couple of games? Do you feel really good about the way you're going? Yeah, definitely. Like KB said, um, that's what he outlined to me when, when I first went to New Zealand. And um, talking with Juddy, with the relationship we developed down in Southland, um, just every week they just kept keep being aggressive, keep being aggressive, things will change. And, you know, like the hard work at all the practices, the shots and all that, it all comes together at some point. It might not be that week. It might be the week after. It might be the week after that. So, yeah, just going to continue to, you know, keep being aggressive and hopefully the shots keep falling. Just one final one. With Nate not starting for them, did that throw a spanner in the works for you guys a little bit? Were you expecting him to start? Did it change it up your tactics a little bit? Yeah, I, I, I totally thought he was starting, and it definitely changed up a lot. I mean, you think about the first play, I think uh, Trimble got to the basket pretty easy, and... You know, we had certain rules for when Nate was in there as a starter, and then as soon as he doesn't start, you know, it kind of throws you off a little bit. But, I mean, we got going a little bit after that. I thought more towards the end of the first quarter, we got our rules set, and then the second quarter, we were pretty good. So, you know, I mean, anytime someone throws something like that, it does shake it up a little bit, but at some point, you find your rhythm with it. Yeah. Thanks. Thank you. Boys. Thank you.